hello friend in this video we will discuss the crew plane command okay so plane is the foundation of here we need to select the plane okay and the requirement here is uh, we can pass the plane through the uh, plane itself uh, we can create through surface we can create through point we can create through axis curve okay so we will see the different option so here we can see uh, we have passed the uh, means we have created the plane through front plane okay and if you want the at some distance the plane is so you can see the offset so uh, the plane is created uh, 400 offset from the front plane okay here you can see okay so this uh, plane you can use to uh, create the feature means to have the foundation so it's like a foundation you can create the sketch on that you can create the uh, any core on that and you can use this uh, plane for the assembly purpose and to have uh, to create the feature okay so here I selected the surface and the same option so suppose it is a flat surface then the flat surface act as a plane itself so it can pass through the surface okay you can create and you can see you can use like a offset from the surface so you can see here 200 offset from this surface okay and you can add the minus if you want in the different uh, direction okay or you can drag that point off, okay now uh, i'll select the edge here okay so one edge is not sufficient so we need to select the two edges okay so you can see here so this plane is created through these two edges okay likewise you can use the two axes as, uh, as well okay like uh, the um, these edges is a straight line okay uh, at the ground level so you can see here so i selected the two edges here Uh, now select the two axes so you can pass the plane through this two axes so now you can see here uh, the plane is created and passing through the uh, axis of uh, hole So uh, here now I have uh, selected here the vertex. Uh, so we need a, a three point at least, okay, or the vertex, okay, if you want to create the plane, okay. So uh, I selected the two, and this one is a third. So uh, it will pass through this all three vertex. So the plane you can see it is created like this okay so the requirement is here you can uh, uh, miss uh, uh, you can take the different combination okay like a uh, plane with the points plane with the uh, uh, plane passing through the core okay plane pa uh, passing through axis edges vertex okay so you can create like that you can use okay and this plane you can use to uh, create the feature so you can see here I have uh, uh, sketched and extruded the uh, means by using this plane I have extruded the uh, geometry and cut the material
so here you can see so i have selected the vertex and the plane okay so this combination you can add like a uh, plane and passing through this uh, uh, mis uh, passing through vertex and it is parallel to the uh, plane okay likewise so the edge i have selected and the plane so this edge is act as a axis and you can uh, means you can choose the option like parallel or it is at a angle normal like that you can choose the options okay and now so i have selected the axis and the here plane so you can rotate uh, the plane here so suppose if you want at an angle so they at that point you need the plane and the hinge point like a axis okay so around that axis we can rotate the plane and at an angle we can create the plane so here uh, I selected the plane and the vertex and and I don't want the parallel so I selected the normal but now you can see the uh, the ok command is not highlighted so we need the one more reference okay so uh, I selected two plane which is you know, uh, two plane and one vertex and it is the plane created is uh, normal to the both the plane and passing through the vertex so you can see that uh, on this part actually so this one is uh, having the circular geometry okay so you can see here uh, you can select the axis okay and the plane and likewise i already said so we can set at an angle okay so suppose I, uh, if i want to maintain at 45 so you can enter the value 45 and it will uh, it will be at an angle 45 angle with the reference plane we have selected now this surface i have selected the cylindrical surface and the plane okay so in that you will get the option like a normal to the surface or a parallel offset like that so in the surface if you want uh, the surface through then it will be through the surface then if you want at a normal mm, sorry tangent to the surface so you can see that it is tangent to the surface and if you want to parallel with the plane so you can see so the plane is created tangent to the surface and parallel to the reference plane okay same condition here we have selected the surface and the plane okay and here i have just clicked on the normal and normal and you can see here we need the one more reference if we select like both the normal surface so we need a extra reference to define the plane okay so here ok command is not highlighted okay
if we selected the two plane if we selected the two plane or two flat surfaces then it will directly create the mid plane okay suppose here i have selected the two plane so it will automatically miss create the new plane in the mid of the two plane selected reference plane okay so mid plane if you want to create the mid plane then you can use this option to select the two plane parallel plane we need to select okay then and then it will create the mid plane okay here i have the curve and the points okay if you want the plane normal to the curve then you need to select the curve and the point so it will create the plane normal to the curve and passing through the point okay so this uh, option and uh, normal to the curve plane it is uh, uh, is we generally use while creating the section while sweep command so like for that purpose we need the plane normal to the curve okay so while creating the pipe geometry like that okay so you can see i have created the sketch normal to the curve so that i can uh, use this one while uh, using the sweep command or like that I selected the point here and the curve okay and in that we can see we don't have the other options okay it will pass through plane and normal to the directly normal to the curve so you can select at any point okay and it will be uh, uh, in this localized point or at a distance or the point on the any point on the curve region you can create the plane yeah so it will not require the curve as a straight line means as a straight one you can use at the means curve you can use the core of I means uh, core section as, uh, as well so this one is the imported uh, geometry so suppose if, if you need here the plane okay so in the model tree you can see there is no plane okay so for that purpose we need the means uh, base ref base plane so for that you can use the offset plane so it will default plane it will create so default coordinate system and default three plane it will create so we can see here so we have now three different planes so you can rename uh, if you want you can rename it you can see right top front like that okay so this default plane we can create in the import geometry so number of times it is observed that so while importing so only the geometry it will show so they will and we need uh, the means like uh, uh, like if you, uh, uh, suppose if you want to add the new features so at that time you need the uh, reference plane so you can means you can create this default reference plane okay so uh, you can use the means coordinate system to create the plane as well okay so you can see here so with the help of coordinate system also you can create the plane so generally we need to select the coordinate system only because the coordinate systems covers in all the points means in three direction it will in, in, sorry in all direction so the coordinate system is it, it will cover so we need only one reference of the coordinate system to create the plane
so here you have the option to adjust the plane okay so if you are working on the uh, large means num means large uh, model tree so in that case you can adjust the size of the plane okay but remember uh, the plane is an uh, imaginary uh, reference okay so just here for weaving purpose we are uh, adjusting the uh, size of the plane so but in actual plane is a completely flat portion okay at an infinite level okay so at uh, for uh, uh, having the good visual experience on the crew so for that purpose we are just uh, restricting the size of the plane okay so that we can uh, uh, I mean in the assembly if you are suppose if you are a number of components so at that time you, you it may face a difficult to, to identify the plane okay so here you can see so we can rotate the plane like this So friend, uh, you can means, uh, create the plane uh, by using the uh, points, plane, flat surface, uh, cylindrical surface, okay, uh, or uh, curve, okay, or any stage, okay. So like that, axis you can use, vertex you can use, edges of the solid geometry you can use. Also, you can use the quilt uh, edges, okay? Like that, you can and you can add the different different. You can you can create the different different combi uh, combination, and you can create the plane, okay? So it, it depends upon the requirement. So how you are creating the plane, and what is your requirement? How you are means using that plane in the model tree, okay? Or while creating the part. Okay.